Good morning members, uh, just out here on our 16th video I wanted to give you a little bit of a course update on what's been happening over the last month and update you on our uh, renovation program. So we're actually doing a little bit of spraying out here at the moment, just uh, we're watering that in. So we've got some wetting agent and a little bit of penetrant in it uh, and also a fungicide which helps with some disease control, especially the disease we're trying to control this time of year um, is Pythium and also we do potentially get a little bit of anthracnose which is our leaf, leaf diseases. Um, so yeah just with the wetting agent we're just um, trying to hold moisture in the, in the right area so that's what the penetrant gets it down to a level that we want to get it down to, uh, also you know prevents any sort of surface build up of water um, and the wetting agent yeah, hold, holds moisture in the, in the profile so that goes out probably every three weeks um, which is sort of a light and frequent rate um, and so that's the reason we're able to keep the surfaces reasonably firm uh, and pretty consistent. So just on the Greens renovation program, I was really happy with the way we had recovery in them, uh, the whole process went really smooth and it was yeah we got a really good result and we managed to get quite a bit of sand into them which is good which actually sort of helps firm the surface up but um, also we've been able to with the verde cutting help uh, create a lot of new growth as well. Um, also while we you know had the greens renovation we were doing some of the teas uh, so the scarifying of the teas I uh, was happy again with, with the way that process went. Um, again we've probably got 90 to sort of 80 or 85 to 90 percent sort of coverage uh, back into them, uh, so trying to grow that last sort of 10 to 15 percent is quite hard. Um, but we are seeing some every day. We sort of see more and more uh, recovery and sort of reducing the the um, amount of barriers. Uh, a couple of areas are probably a little bit um, where it sort of was a bit more aggressive than we would have liked. Uh, but again, we're sort of seeing recovery in those areas. We'll go out with some more products uh, just to try and again try and fast track that along and increase the, the recovery rate. Um, there's no doubt, I think, if we had had a little bit more natural rain uh, through the last sort of 10 weeks, uh, that would have helped with our, our recovery as well. So, but all in all, um, they're going to come back uh, and be a fantastic surface as, as, uh, as expected. And that's what we're trying to do is improve the surface and improve the quality and the health of the plant. Uh, and also sort of helps with our, with our watering as well, just being able to get water in, into the profile, quite similar to the fairways that will sort of and that's what we will expect sort of over the, um, the scarifying process. Uh, just on, on our fairway, so again with uh, sort of main things we've been trying to look at is trying to uh, look after or manage our winter grass, the pyrannia. So um, we've had a couple of applications going out there, so that's what those sort of dead and brown spots are on the fairways at the moment. So I've uh, been really happy with the, with the quality um, or result that we've got from, from that application. So. Uh, so that's what we call a post-emergent, so that control, so that controlled any pyrannia that we had there already. Um, at the moment we've also been going out with some pre-emergent, so pre-emergents prevent any new germination. So um, the, the pre-emergent that we're using at the moment, that sort of lasts um, about six weeks and then we'll reapply, so we'll reply, reapply uh, early um, in January uh, and that will lead into our line planting really well. So. The front nine and the back nine will be treated a little bit differently just with the line planting going on. Um, so yeah, and the other thing that we've been doing on the fairways um, is getting uh, using the penetrants. So penetrants again just help uh, water move into the profile a lot better, uh, especially on some of our high high mounding areas uh, where we get sort of quite a lot of localised dry spot and all that uh, because of our, our thatch levels. Um, the uh, water just struggles to get in but we've seen big improvements in that area and, that, and we're starting to see a lot more sort of uh, more uniformity with our, our sprinklers um, and sort of yeah water's definitely moving into the profile and and helping us out that way um, also the, the other application we got had going out is just a little bit of calcium nitrate and with some Primo uh, the Primo is a, a growth regulator uh, so we don't want too much growth at the moment, uh, we want to be able to provide that sort of nice even sort of smooth surface. Uh, so yeah that's, what, that's what's been going out and you know obviously with our public holidays coming up as well um, and short weeks we didn't want to come back and have excessive amount of growth as well. So, But again that, that program will go monthly sort of throughout the next sort of uh, couple of months until we get into the lime planting. So. Uh, just lastly, I obviously wanted to wish everyone a, a happy Christmas uh, and, a, and a good New Year and hopefully uh, see you all out here on the course.